Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, for sticking around uh, at this late hour. Uh, my name is Adela, and I come to you from Aarhus University in Denmark, where I wear multiple hats. I am an associate professor in digital history, uh, but also landscape archaeologist who specializes in cultural heritage uh, monitoring and management. And with my second hat on, I am a member of the FAMES project based in Sydney, Australia, uh, that has recently incorporated into electronic field notebooks, uh, trying to sell services surrounding a platform that we have developed uh, over and deployed over the last uh, 10 years. Um, the platform is called FAMES Mobile. It was first developed in 2012, uh, and it is an open source platform for minting uh, Android applications for um, offline first uh, human mediated data collection. Um, oops. Uh, this uh, development was underpinned by extensive stocktaking with our initial um, user community, which was a global community of archaeologists who have expressed need uh, for information management system that would uh, allow for entirely offline uh, field data collection with multiple teams using multiple devices that would sync seamlessly and automatically. And they especially asked for equal weight to be uh, given to spatial data, multimedia, structured and free text data. And they wanted all of these different data types integrated tightly. They asked for lots of other things, auto-incremented human readable IDs, uh, contextual data capture, validation, mobile GIS, and uh, total redundancy, uh, because going remotely is very expensive and they never wanted to lose data. Uh, so we developed. Uh, this platform, uh, and although it was intended for the archaeological community, uh, we saw broad cross-disciplinary uptake in other uh, field disciplines such as oral history, linguistics, uh, but the biggest volume is in ecology and geochemistry. Uh, this was not only because there were some nifty features such as uh, picture dictionaries, annotations, certainly sort of digital margins, um, uh, surrogates, uh, and because there was mobile GIS and uh, internationalization, but mostly because it, the platform was generalized and therefore flexible and had to be customized for each field uh, workflow. This was initially because archaeologists couldn't agree on standards, but it worked in the long run that it was then uh, available to all these other disciplines. Um, this uh, mobile GIS, uh, then provided by Nutitec from Estonia, uh, was uh, built into the FAMES code base and provided the essential geospatial capabilities from managing and uh, rendering user-provided raster and vector data to manual um, creation and editing of vector and uh, as well as automated uh, capture from onboard and Bluetooth sensors that were additionally used to create uh, unique identifiers and support uh, um, sample tracking and other key aspects of field data collection. Uh, we implemented a lot of spatial queries and navigation and other features that saw very little use. Uh, and as you see, the UI was uh, stripped down and simplified to facilitate use by volunteers and novices with no skills, uh, thus supporting some uh, community science. Uh, all in all, we've uh, helped um, develop and customize this platform in over 60 projects. Uh, there were a lot of DEY deployments that we don't really know about that much, but most clients were very happy uh, that they could capture rich data and save time thanks to a lot of on-device and server-side validation, complete version history, and then all these automated exports where you get clean data at the push of a button, where all your attached files, multimedia, get automatically relabeled, and uh, a lot of help with data management where you could uh, create uh, uh, barcodes and uh, sample labels in the field and thus track them through the entire workflow of your project. Uh, and these time savings were uh, substantial, especially in projects where a sampling was done with a helicopter. Um, so why am I here? I'm here because uh, after 10 years, FAMES 2.6 is robust and stable, but end of life and basically prehistory. And we got funding to redevelop uh, this platform from bottom up. Uh, and so this year we are redeveloping and creating FAMES 3.0. 
uh, trying to replicate FAMES 2.6, but add graphic user interface for customization and add cross-platform functionality so it works uh, on all devices. And I'm here to shop around and look for geospatial renderer for this user-supplied spatial data that would work beautifully offline and help us uh, edit and display data in clear and intuitive way on small screens in adverse environments, uh, preferably facilitate round trip if possible, uh, to and from desktop tools and talk to a wide range of sensors. Basically, we wish to replicate our robust uh, data creation, but in this just enough GIS approach where we drop the complex functionality that we that saw very little use in the last 10 years. And we are currently looking at open layers, but I'm here open-minded, happy to hear any feedback and suggestions that you might have. And thank you very much. Thank you, Adela.